having a lot of technical expertise in devops sre is really great right when you when you work as a devops sre you keep learning stuff based on the new problem that you solve based on the new problem that are occurring that you try to solve so you you keep on learning something new maybe day by day right and that's what you do but when you when you try to look out for a job change when you take an interview does that technical knowledge that you acquired does that help you transform your career to the right job what you are looking for so uh, probably uh, the interview is not just about your technical skills and the knowledge of what you acquired over the last career it's all about understanding the interview process and then then understanding what the interviewer expect from you and then uh, probably deciding whether your skills would match what the job requirements are so so having a clear understanding about the interview process and what the interviewer expect is very important as a devops sre even if you have lot of experience you are currently working as a devops sre still there are certain things that you need to know so today i'm just preparing this video to explain what are the best practices that you can follow and uh, what what should be your mindset uh, preparing for an interview right so so there are certain things that that you need to know um while taking the interview uh, just always try to think from the interviewer perspective why he should hire you there are thousands of other people out there and then they can always hire a lot of people and why they should hire you what is that special value you add to them or probably he find you in many ways he find you much attractive because your job skills matches their skills and then a lot of other criteria that the interviewer might have in mind uh, while considering filling this position so let's think from a interviewer perspective what he think and why what is the kind of uh, thing that he is looking out in you so the first thing uh, let's start with the basic things first so first of all your skills versus the job position so uh, when we talk about the skills versus the job position basically uh, when it comes to devops sre there are a lot of tools lot of technologies and uh, different companies might be using different technologies maybe they are trying to solve the similar problems but the tools technologies all these things can vary and uh, sometimes uh, some companies would be using containers some companies are not using containers so the work strategy and uh, the process even ci cd process observability all those things would change a lot from company to company but what that means is um, you are very good at your current job does not really mean that you might be fit for the job that you are applying so don't be disappointed if if you if you really don't find your position to be matching their requirement and and so that is something that your interviewer look for very closely right uh, they are trying to fill a position within the devops sre there are various different different variable there is ci cd there is observability monitoring and deployment and a lot of things and then what what they are actually looking for fill in and do you have that skills maybe maybe technology is not so much important as you think it is probably they want to know the strategy what you do and what you do is what what they want even if the tools are different right sometimes ci cd for example can be achieved using different different methods right you may use stackton or you may use jenkins right uh, it can vary from company to company but the strategies don't change a lot so uh, the strategies are you doing same what your interviewer expect so they always try to match your skills with the current job position what they have right and and then and then another thing is uh, your current project so how well you are doing your current projects so so when when we talk about the project uh, we are talking about uh, how you are working right uh, your project also explain the work culture that you currently follow in the current company there are there are people who use as containers there are people who don't use containers and that is okay whatever that you do you will continue to do and it is there is no problem in doing that but uh, but the most important part here is that are you following the right practices in place for example uh, when you have to do a deployment in your company uh, does it still need manual efforts to be in place or do you do a lot of manual work or how much time do you take 
for the deployment are you using the caching efficiently or are you right and there would be a whole bunch of other how do you manage your configuration how do you manage your code how do you version them how do you make your executable codes to production how do you distribute them so there are uh, there are ways there are dirty ways to do it there are good ways to do it and there are awesome ways to do it so they always try to evaluate your current project and the work that you currently do does that match the industry standards maybe not their standard probably uh, the interviewer company is also not doing in the much excellent way right uh, things uh, in devops everything is different from company to company uh, the way how they do things are different but but when you explain your project to an interviewer they, they check the interviewer check if you are doing the right practices are you doing any manual job in between are your developers getting the feedback in time right are you do you have a proper observability of your applications are you missing out something do you meet proper sla and if you if there is no proper sla that you could not meet do you have the tracking mechanism so those are the things they will look for right how how good your current project is rather than the technology what you are currently using in those projects so that's very very important how well your current projects are being maintained and managed right and then uh, another thing how proactive you are right and that is another important thing that the interviewer look for uh, your proactiveness right and there are a difference between proactive people and reactive people uh, the proactive people would always have something extra that they can demonstrate probably you uh, know uh, the proactive people always brings with something that nobody else would have done uh, if i tell you one example uh, the company was not giving feedback in the right time to the developer the developer was getting very late feedback uh, after they modified their code and you uh, b- brought in some systems uh, did some did some ci cd or did something at the end uh, your developers started getting automated fi- feedback within few minutes maybe within 5 minutes the developer started getting feedback after they changed the code probably even before you did that things were working fine but not in the right way and that is why nobody bothered about fixing them but you took an extra mile and you fixed that problem you built a complete automated system that can actually give feedback to developer continuously every few minutes so those are the kind of work a proactive devops sre person would do and a proactive person would always have something like that to demonstrate maybe something that you implemented for the entire company and that improved the efficiency of the company and you know if you were not there nobody else would have done it there would be such kind of work that a proactive person would do and that should be very important the interviewer wants to know how proactive you are right very very important and then uh, do you fit to the team right that is another point right devops is all about uh, a culture and uh, it's the people who make that culture that happens right so so when uh, different companies will have different culture and different mindset for the people uh, some team would be not uh, pretty much open and in some company things are uh, much open and they are much more collaborative with the teams and stuff so so they will definitely check your mindset you know how uh, then uh, probably they want to check your mindset uh, through uh, some questions like you know how you work with your colleagues and how you work with other people other team Uh, do you uh, uh, work in a more proactive way? Uh, you come across some situations where more than one team needed to be involved to fix the problem and how did you make that happen how do you help the other team other people and how do you do well within the team and do you fit maybe the current culture what you follow in your company is what they are expecting in their company so it's very very important that you know uh, when when i hire somebody probably that is one of my most important objective whether the culture matches or not right and that's very important because you should fit to the team otherwise things won't work out even if you are technically awesome things won't work out well if if you if your culture don't match right so it's very very important in an interview process and that is some something that interview and definitely look for and then um, your problem solving skills right uh, so 
so most of the people think about interview more like a Q&A right uh, interviewer ask a question and you should answer that question and if you answer 50% of the question maybe you will pass or 80% of the question you answered you might win the interview that's not uh, that may be true to one extent but it's it's only secondary right so when an interviewer ask you a question rather than he is not expecting a ready made answer from you to be honest most of the devops sre interviews people cannot expect a, a straightforward answer when they ask you a question they rather wants to know whether you know the answer or not do you know the approach to solve it and what approach would you take to solve it so uh, i give a question i give you a scenario this is what i a problem that i am facing and how do you fix it so i am not expecting a ready made answer from him i rather expect how he would fix it right what would be his approach to fix it and and how well that approach is is there any better way if there is a better way i would tell him hey uh, this can also be done in the same way he can agree with me or he can reject me so i not doubt all such kind of things uh, to understand uh, he he has the right problem solving skills and that's that's very very important in an interview your problem solving skills is more important than giving ready made answers right so and and, uh, and lastly and most importantly your technical skills are of course technical skills is very very important um, and uh, most of the time it it probably i wouldn't say the interviewers are looking for certain tools that you are not that is that is true in some cases uh, not true in some other cases uh, when when i hire a uh, devops guy or when i take an interview for the devops guys i don't really look too much for the tools but rather you no know, uh, look at the problem look at the problem what he solved with a different tool but the same problem i also have in my company and we are using a different tool to solve that and i am okay with that right the tools can vary as long as the problem solving matches so that is how you measure the technical skills rather than uh, trying to match the, their their technical skills uh, no the, the candidates technical skills and interviews technical skills does not need to match exactly but the kind of problem and the solution what they implemented in both company that should match and then then i don't really care about the tools and technologies that is underneath so uh, so that's very important Uh, whoever i hire I, i i want to make sure that they are technically competent they should be able to do things rather than uh, they they know the tools what i was expecting which which is very difficult to find i cannot it, it, for interviews it's not at all very easy to find talents who would be using the exact same tools what i am using in my company so so there is always that difference so so this is what an interviewer expect from you when 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 they interview you right it's the interview is not a process of q and a no that's not correct it's it, it's secondary right uh, the most important part is uh, he, he tries to check if you matches their requirement so it's very important as a devops sre if you are trying to look for a job change always make sure that you you understand what the interviewer look from you and uh, thanks and i will come up with another video soon so please like and subscribe to the channel and see you next